Today, we're going to demonstrate how to replace the PE10 tubing used on the output side of the Warner Instruments MM series manifolds. The MM series manifolds are an integral part of the SF77B perfusion fast step system. The tools required for this job are a single edge razor blade or a scalpel and a length of PE10 tubing. You'll need about 8 to 10 inches of tubing for every manifold. Forceps are optional and may help you hold on to the tubing while you're stretching it. The first step is to remove the tail section of the manifold by turning it counterclockwise until it's free from the body section. Next, pull out the old PE10 tubing and discard. Take a length of new PE10, about 8 to 10 inches, in between your right and left hands and stretch it out until it becomes very thin. This technique may require some practice. If you pull too much, the tubing will break and you'll need to start over. The next step is to cut the tubing at its thinnest point and feed that into the tail section of the manifold. Once you have inserted the tubing into the tail, pull it through until the tubing is back up to its original diameter, then cut it flush on the input side and trim it to a good working length on the output side, about 3 to 4 inches.